Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And Kamala Harris, she's just had a string of really bad news, and it's getting worse. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please check that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Kamala Harris, if you guys remember, go back to 2023, there was a rumor floated. People were trying to push her off the Democrat ticket. They wanted Biden, but they wanted a different vice president. They felt that Harris was the drag on the ticket. Now, as it turns out, they kind of both were. And I don't think Biden could have won. And I thought, I think Harris had a better chance than him, but it was still abysmal. I always was abysmal. It was always going to be abysmal because she's tied in every way to this administration. So and she'll never get rid of that. That's why I think she's more likely to run for governor of California than she is for president again. I don't think there's a chance in the world she can win in a primary against people like Newsom and Shapiro. I don't see that happening. So when you, when you look at it from that perspective, you understand why they kind of wanted to get Harris off the ticket and maybe bring somebody stronger like a Newsom in and then groom him to be president. But the person who was really leading the charge to push Harris off the ticket, well, that was Jen O'Malley. Who's Jen O'Malley? She was President Biden's campaign manager. And Harris inherited her. And she became Harris's campaign manager. So Kamala Harris's own campaign manager was the person leading the charge to have her removed from the Democrat ticket. That is a heck of an act of betrayal. I want you to watch this report on it and let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, Tere, you've done some reporting on kind of the internal dynamics of the uh, of the Harris campaign. And you want to talk about something that I really want to get into, and that is the consultants. Talk about the consultant factor in this election. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of reasons why Kamala lost. One of them that when I spoke to elite Democratic people and they kept bringing up the name Jen O'Malley Dillon. Jen was uh, the campaign chair for Kamala Harris, and she had been hired to do that for Biden. So this is a Biden person, a Biden loyalist who in 2023 was leaking to media that Kamala should be replaced on the ticket. Right. This is the reporting that I have on my Substack. So this is the person you have to go to battle with, who a year earlier was whispering to reporters saying, maybe you should be replaced. And part of the thing with Jen, too, when you talk about the consulting class, that she has an ad buying company. So when she's advising the candidate saying you should buy ads, that is personally enriching to her. Right now, that doesn't mean that she's doing anything nefarious. Right. She seems to have done her job as best as she could. But when a hammer sees everything as a nail. And when you personally are enriched by ad buys, then you're going to recommend that to the candidate as opposed to Donald Trump got a lot out of being on podcasts, right? And we don't feel like Kamala 